We all are, or at least should be, concerned about keeping our electronic devices safe and up to date. Those texts, emails, or alerts that you get on your phone or computer telling you there's a new security update, you ask yourself, should I or should I not accept the update? Jordan Kelly, a cybersecurity expert, says yes. I definitely recommend taking advantage of automatic updates on software and platforms that offer that. The reason why many of these updates come out is because a security issue has been identified. And so the fact that these updates are going to be able to roll automatically to your device is certainly something that, particularly for the average user that might not be tracking the different security risks that have been identified, I highly recommend. Keeping your software and apps up to date is one of the easiest ways to protect yourself online. Here's a couple of tips. Use the automatic updates. Go ahead and check your settings. Don't forget, some may require a restart. Go ahead and download only from trusted sources. Never update from pop-ups, emails, or third-party websites, and only update through the official store like Google Play or the Apple App Store. And watch for update scams. Those are the pop-ups sounding urgent and are, they're a scam. They're just trying to get you to click and put your identity and your money at risk. And make them routine. Do this on a regular basis. Maybe pick a day of each week or at least a day of every month that you're going to check for those updates. And when you get that message that says your device is no longer supported, that's a risk. It means you're going to have to buy a new app and get rid of the old one. I've added a link to our winknews.gov story so you can go and direct to many of these common apps and software you routinely use. Remember, stay safe online and protect your personal information, your devices, and your finances. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section of the Facebook story, and I'll try to get an answer for them. Back to you.